Hey, I'm Chris Berman, coming up on ESPN. They were the team of the 70s. The immaculate reception, the terrible towel, the steel curtain defense, four Super Bowl rings. Can the Steelers get back on the road to join the NFL's elite? Kansas City Chiefs, Pittsburgh Steelers, now! Still fans making their way through the turnstiles. They'll be just in time to catch the start of this game. Hello, I'm Dan Stevens, and welcome to Heinz Field. And with me in the booth, as always, my cohort and friend, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, I was looking at the team rosters, and both teams have explosive return men on their squad. Well, that's true, Dan, and if they can produce as they're capable of, this could be a high-scoring game. Ricardo Popo is a very capable return man. His superior agility enables him to turn on a dime and carve through the defense on his way upfield. On the other side of the ball, we've got another top performer. Dante Hall is a superb player. His versatility is what strikes me. He understands the game of football and knows how to make the most of his physical abilities in every situation. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins, but first, the toss of the coin. Tails. Morton Anderson kicking off for the Chiefs. There's the signal, and we're ready. Anderson boots the opening kickoff. Randall L fields it all the way back at the one. Brought down at the 27. Antoine Randall-L got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Steelers offense takes the field, and they will start at their own 27-yard line. Burris goes in motion. Holiday gets the sack at... Bonnie Holiday gets a sack in the backfield. The quarterback had nowhere to go on this one. Let's watch. Yep, the D shut the offense down on that play. They couldn't do anything. The defensive design worked flawlessly, and the refs will spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. Four receivers and a nickel D, and this could go anyway here. Maddox gets all of his arm into this pass and the reception. Tommy Maddox launches this run perfectly and the D was nowhere to be found. You got that right. Missed coverage all around. That's right, Dan. My six-year-old could have covered that pass better. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. First down with three receivers to the left. Ward goes in motion. Staley gains three yards, and that brings up second down. Hey guys, they the pass, watch the pass, watch the pass! Great trip down! Rip it, rip it down! Staley takes it off the cross and gets past the line. Deuce Staley is one of those wily old vets. Eighth-year man out of South Carolina. Smart player. This guy has been in the league for a long time, and his experience gives him an edge. Third and two. Ball off the Steelers, 48 yards. McLean tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. That will bring up fourth down. Take it easy, Chris Gardaki gets ready to punt this away. To make the return. Ardaki takes the snap and punts it away. Hall fields the punt at the 17. Tackled at the 20. Dante Hall didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Chiefs offense will start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Holmes dodges this one way out right and picks up eight yards on the play. 
with the tackle. Lance, Lance. Single back, single back. Set. Green, 37. Switch. Black and Switch. Black and Switch. Black and Switch. Black and Loses about three, and that brings up third down. Third down, five yards to go. Hagen chases him down and gets the sack, and it'll be fourth down. Baker lines up to punt after the three and out. Baker gets the ball and punts it away. Randall L. gets it at the 44. Drag down at the 48. Antoine Randall L. didn't get very far running that ball back, but on the bright side, the kick was pretty lackluster, so his offense gets pretty good field position anyway. The Steelers stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait to see what happens here. They'll start at their 48-yard line. Staley gets the call on first down and maybe picks up one on the play. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Ward goes in motion. Maddox uncorks this to the left sideline and it's incomplete. Plaxico Burris went to the outside on that last play, had some room but couldn't make the catch. Incomplete. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete and it will be third down. <laughs> Holiday sacks him way back at the 41. Bonnie Holiday drops the quarterback deep in the backfield. Yes, and that is a huge loss of yardage, a big feather in the cap of this defense. Yeah, I can't understand why the quarterback went so far back. When you can't read the numbers on the back of your teammates' jerseys, you've gone too far. Peter, he's really gotten after the quarterback in this game. Oh, you can say that again. So far, he's got two tackles and two sacks. On the field, the punt at the 20. The Steelers have it. But they keep the drive alive. First down at the 27. First down. First down with the tight end right. Interceptor. Pushed out at the 24. Well, it's all about getting in position to make the grab and watch here. Oh, that's perfect position. Boy, that was a heads up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Chiefs are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their own 24-yard line. Holmes carries this one off to the right and rambles for about five. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground and it's incomplete. Johnny Morton got open on that last play with a slant route but couldn't bring the ball in. Third down, one running down. Hunted down at the 40. Trent Green saw nothing happening, so he decides to scramble for it. And he turns in a pretty successful play there. He's never more dangerous than when he improvises like that. Watch the pass, First watch and the ten. pass. Ball at the Chiefs, 44 yards. Yeah! Holmes makes the nice catch and loses yards on that one. That will end the first quarter, and it's still a scoreless game. Hagen's 
touches him down just behind the line. Third down and four wideouts in the game. the catch out to the left and the big catch is made with daylight in front of him he's in for the touchdown mark borichter really comes to play on this baby he makes the solid catch and then he takes off check it out Give him an inch, and he'll steal every yard he can. Peter, he gets the touchdown, and there is no better way to cap off a play than like that. Yeah, nothing better than points, Dano. Now the extra point, and it's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Anderson rockets this one deep. Talklo decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 19. Ricardo Colclo took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Steelers were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 19-yard line. Staley carries it off the toss and maybe picks up Second one eight. on the play. The Mays goes in motion. Burr catches the bullet out left and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Mexico Burris faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. That'll be his first catch of the game after being shut out the entire first quarter. This is a bit of a slow start for him. Yeah, it is, Dan, but he will see the ball more and more as the game goes on. Maddox rifles it out left side, and the completion is good for six. Plaxico Burris easily outclassed his defender on that catch, and he had that play all the way. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second down with a split backfield. Staley picks up about two, and that will bring up third down. Staley gets the call again, and takes it upfield. Drag down at the 43. It will be first down. Deuce Staley played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. Warfield tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Second down, both tight ends left. Reimersma goes in motion. Maddox throws a heat to the right sideline and the reception's made at the 39. Finally popped out of bounds at the 32. First down. Staley takes it for his eighth carry and picks up a couple. Second and eight. Ball at the 30-yard line. Maddox lofts this one out to the left, and the reception is made at the nine. Touchdown! Tommy Maddox throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. Peter, that's his first touchdown pass of the game. How do his stats look? Well, so far, he's got 88 yards and one touchdown. Here's the extra point, and it's good.
The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Reed kicks this one away. Hall got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. The Chiefs could take the lead before halftime as their offense will start at their own 22-yard line. Second down with two tight ends to the right. Receivers to the left. Holmes catches it in the flat and is at the 30. Brought down at the 31. Porter Holding. with the tackle. The penalty is declined. It will be first down. First down, empty backfield. Horton holds it in right side, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Green throws a beauty to the right side, and it's not reeled in. Incomplete. Brent Green putting on quite a display out there, Dan. He's finding his receivers and getting into a rhythm out there, both with the long and the short ball. He's racked up 80 yards and one touchdown. Second down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. Brent Green threw an incomplete pass there. You know, maybe that's lucky since there were two defenders in that zone. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete and it will be third down. them even farther away from the marker. It'll be fourth down. Maker lines up for the punt. Maker takes the long snap and punts it away. Randall L. Fair catches it at the 25. The Steelers bring their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 26-yard line. The Chiefs take their first time out. Second down from the eye. Kreider catches it in the flat, and that's a gain of seven on the play. Dan Kreider was able to keep the play alive because of a nice move after the catch back there. A nice run after the catch, and that's what they expect from him. Yeah, that's his job description. You won't see him running a post route, but you will see him make plays off those short catches. Maddox fires this one over the middle, and it's intercepted. 
I'm coming now. I'm oh, coming. Oh, I'm okay. coming. Oh, 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 that's oh, 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 why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. Great presence of mind to try for the football there. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The Chiefs offense takes the field with the clock at 19. Logan makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Okay, guys. Mike Logan came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Green makes the throw after the play action fake and it falls incomplete. Joey Porter closed in from the zone and forced the incompletion. On second down, they try for the first but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Holmes grabs the rope right side, and the Chiefs will take a timeout. That's their second. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Anderson launches the 51-yard attempt, and he misses this one way off to the left. Morton Anderson is visibly unhappy with himself after missing this long field goal. Watch. So that'll bring the first half That's of football of to a field. close as the clubs head to the locker room all time. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer. All right, Dan, we'll get back to you in a bit. But welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. A look inside the numbers from our first half and look at the discrepancy in sacks thus far. The Chiefs should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Tommy Maddox would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Steelers towards the end of the first quarter, ball at their own 40. Jerome Woods would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Chiefs, after getting an interception, Mark Bolrichter emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. They get the first score and go up by seven. Steelers, middle of the second. Plexico Burris is going to find an opening in the secondary, and he'll exploit it here. A 30-yard touchdown for the Steelers. Game tied, 7-all. Trent Green would find his target on this one. The Steelers on defense. Greg Wesley shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. And that's where we'll leave this one. Steelers are keeping it evened up. We're tied, 7-all. Now, let's check out the undisputed halftime hero of the first half. Mark Bolrichter has played like a man possessed. So that does it for our halftime report. We'll send you back now to the second half of this one. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe are there. Gentlemen.